What is up? Welcome back to another episode of our My Team Save. Uh, last time. What was it? Yeah, Monaco. Yeah, the less said about that one, the actual better. We crashed out in the exact same place that we did in Season 1 when we crashed out. To give up a 25-point lead to Mr. Carlos Sainz, who is kind of on a roll here. Won the last three races. We've went from first to third because of that one race. We're looking to back, bounce, back, bounce back. English. Uh, while we head to Canada. No, I've purchased one upgrade. Won't come in for Canada. It's a brake upgrade because our car isn't really the greatest. I'm gonna be real. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. And one of our chassis, I believe it was... Where is it? Yes, it was this one. Our weight redistribution upgrade has come in. We are eking out ahead of everyone else. Power unit upgrades from Red Bull helps. And yeah, let's go straight in to qualifying. Okay. We are here at the Circuit Jill Villeneuve. Time for some fun qualifying action. As that is a horrendous chicane to start off. That's not what you want. But we take the first thing as Porsche does a 1097. Pretty quick for a Haas car. Hamilton goes one second quicker. First sector is a little scrappy there, not going to lie. Uh, we're taking a higher gear and we're paying the price for it. We're trying to sling the car into every corner instead of probably braking earlier and getting better traction out of it. Now we are going to be quite quick down the straights. Look at this. The engine helping out so much. 2.11. We'll take a slightly shorter run to the line. And it's a 109.2. A good 8 tenths off Lewis Hamilton. But there is still way more time to find us. We look like here. Probably not with that evidence, but there is still much time to find. We didn't use ER at, we didn't use hot lap barely. I'm just gonna take it slower. Okay, we're gonna go now. Again, messed up that chicane. Be more aggressive. Tap the wall, it's not. But now we're looking for the big game. Cut it completely. We don't care. Point four, it's still only 11th. We we're meant to have the fastest car, but. I don't like the car that we have underneath us. It's too rickety. Far too rickety, folks. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. We're three temps off, but supposedly to be the quickest car, we're still quite a far way off, both me and Albon. So having a really bad chassis still does hinder us. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. And the smooth operator, Carlos Sainz, completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton. 
Fernando Alonso, Verstappen, Perez, Stroll, Russell, Albon, Norris, Goose, Sonoda, Ocon, Joe, Magnussen, Oscar Piastri, Hulkenberg, Theo Porcher, Gasly, Sargent, Miney, and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. And alongside me, bringing... Okay. So another disappointing race. Or another fight back. How many fight backs do we have to do? Ferrari are one and two. They look like the best team on the grid. We're going to stick to the original strategy. 11 laps, mediums, 14 laps, hards. Well, we're going to get into this race. We've got to make up 10 positions if we want to have a chance of the trophy. And let's lights out and away we go. Norris gets a really bogged down start. We're able to jump him. We're play it smart. Give him the space, but then we're going to lunge it. Give him all the room Lando wants. But we're going to give it. Album going side by side with Russell allows me to just cut in and get P9. Okay, okay, car, really? That's not what we needed. That's not what we needed. Two rear end snaps in the same corner. Oh, there we go. Okay, the car's back to normal. AI break late. Very early. I break late. Around that corner. I don't get why they do that. Oh, I'm way faster down the street. So the Claire leads. I think Science is fifth. No, Science is fourth. My bad. A decent opening lap. Let's see what we can do from here. If they're all going to break early. Yeah, they break way earlier than I expect. Can we get a move done on our teammate, Alexander Albon? Same engine. It's going to be quite hard. He moves defensively. We are going to go side by side. Give him the space. Slam dunk overtake. Up to P8. Landstroll. We're playing catch up. The top two are pulling away. We could get Landstroll here. They're going to break early. We're going to break late. Shove it down the inside. Give Lance a smidge of room. Bump out overtake. Back down the hot lap. Lance has got no reply. We're up to P7. And we're very close to Checo after one chicane. Six times quicker than Lewis Hamilton that lap. Taking that very aggressively, and it's working. We now look at Perez. We're going to do the same as what we did against Lance Stroll. Looks like there's a, ye there's a yellow flag behind us. And it's a Mercedes. It's George Russell. Engine troubles for Mercedes. Engines again. As again, we're right up the back of Max Verstappen. Back up one chicane. Alonso is holding Carlos Sainz up. We're gonna just have to burn. We're gonna just have to send it. We have the speed, thanks to the overtake. Send him. Break later. We don't have to give him the space. We have the straight line speed. We're up to P5. We're showing that there is pace. 
And just how much of it do we have? 12%. Oh, goodness. We can calm it down a little bit. Oh, we're gaining. We're burning. Oh, we've burnt a lot of battery. We're gaining a car of science. Can't go for a move here, but if we get a better run, we're going to have a little go. We could have a little go. Carlos Sainz is as well going to go for a move on Alonso. Two Spaniards battling it out. Sainz has had enough sitting six laps behind Fernando Alonso. And does manage to get through. So the championship leader back into the podium places having led this. Got pull, uh, second place even. Being jumped by Alonso and Hamilton. We've burnt a lot of battery trying to stay with these guys. Fernando Alonso. We're gonna burn a bit. I think we can go to hot up, and I think we can get the move because we can force him defensive. The Aston Martin places it perfectly. I accidentally made contact. We're gonna do the right thing. We're gonna give him the place back. That was a little bit aggressive. In doing so, we're allowing for step in the to have a little attack. We're going to slam that door shut. We're going to burn, burn, burn. Switch to hot lap. Send them inside. We take the outside. Quite comfortably. Spin out pretty much. We need to be very careful putting on the power. We have gotten into the top four. Now we need to... Catch Carlos Sainz in three second gap, it is all. I think we might pit. Yeah, we're gonna box this lap. We're meant to box next lap, but... I think we could get away with boxing this lap. So we're gonna go to medium. We're not gonna use- we're gonna use DRS for the first little bit, just to get close. Actually, we're not gonna use DRS at all, we're gonna go none. Cause I want- I need to go like this. And then fake. Slows down in time. We're in the pits. A lap earlier than what I want to go to, but the tires felt okay. I just want to see if we can try an undercut. Perfect. 2.3. I think we will get out ahead of this, and we'll be behind this train. Yeah, we will. Of Pierre Gasly. We're out in P19. Need to heat these tires up. We've got a lot of ERS to work with. We could go for a move here. Alexander's coming in for a stop now. Hamilton on the right. On the left. We're on the right. We're going to break. We make contact with Hamilton. But we do just get ahead. And Claire's three seconds up the road. Sainz has joined the conversation, so Hamilton must have been held up in the pits. Or had a slow pit stop. Okay, folks. We're entering five to six laps to go. You can see... We've pulled away from Sainz and Hamilton. We seem to be fighting now. Albon's now getting pace. He's... Catching up to the Red Bulls. We are just going to be inside DRS, I believe. We need to start saving ERS a little bit here. We get a really... Claire gets a good exit. And he just pulls away. And he gets very lucky and... Then we do not get the arrest, but we are there. We're here, we're getting close to his gearbox, we're pretty much fighting him. We have to burn all the ERS we get just to try and get close to him. We're within seven temps now, which is good. We're really close to him now. Now we have a chance. Five laps to go. 
when do we make our move on the Charles Leclerc? We're going to tactically stay behind. Tactically staying behind for the final lap of this race. Jeez, us and Leclerc battling out to see which team has more wins to their name. So we're looking for our second win of the season. So is Charles Leclerc. First two Grand Prix winners of the season. We both want to be in the top step of the podium. We look the quickest out of the two. We do go wide. We're going to have to lift a little bit. We do have a lot of battery remaining. We tap Leclerc. Almost lose the car in that final corner. We're going to burn all our ERS. We have the DRS. Leclerc can simply do nothing. As we pull away three temps on the straight. A little bad on the exit. It doesn't matter. We get the second strain. And we win in Canada. Second race win of the season. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friends. Well done. That was some entertaining racing. They take the checkered flag then here in Canada in what has been another fabulous Grand Prix. Team's happy. We're happy. Exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing. We get to lift the trophy once more. Hamilton does get P3. Signs P4. I don't think our teammate got any of the Red Bulls. We have the trophy loud and proud. And we get to spray the champagne from the top step once more. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One. So yeah, Albon at the end did not get any uh, Red Bulls. I don't know about Albon. I'm starting to question, was it right to sign him? Also, we had the fastest lap by quite some way, but that was when we were overtaking Lance Stroll. We got another fast lap. Nothing really changed. We weren't consistent. We were up and down in the timesheets. But yeah, nice consistent result. We don't jump ahead, but we do gain back, crucially, 14 points in the championship. So we have now clawed it back to probably what it would have been even with Monaco uh, having us not DNF. Albon, 10th in the standings. And realistically, we need him to be in fourth by the end of the season to have any chance of beating Ferrari who just eke out further and further as every race goes by because they're the only people that have two drivers consistently in the top four but that has been everything today I hope you enjoyed this episode you can leave a like if you want it will help out these videos getting to everyone else and until next time where we hit uh where we uh hit Barcelona for the Spanish Grand Prix I'll see you next time peace